Radio Hereford FC, the only station with full match commentaries of the Bulls, every game, every week. Everybody and welcome again to We're Going Down the Pub with me, Frank Williams, and the ground guide guru extraordinaire, oh, Lord. Mr. Simon Wright. Oh goodness me! I don't, I, and I don't stop know calling me that. stop calling me Lord. It doesn't work with most people. Yeah, we are here to talk about an away game in November. So I'm coughing because I just can't believe the concept. Of... I know it's a Tuesday night match. It's Stratford Town. It's going to be on the 14th. Of November, yep. okay, every up. other game in November is at home, unless, of course, Telford goes to a replay, or or yes, Potter's Bar goes, goes to a replay. replay. We don't want any of that. No, thank we don't you. want that. Well, no, a Telford replay is all right. It's only up the road. It's easy for us, but uh, we don't want it. We want the win. No, we don't. Anyway, anyway, okay, Stratford, yeah, Stratford upon Avon. Yes, what a place. lovely part, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, wasted on a Tuesday oh, night. Oh, it just. It was one of those. Now we've done Weymouth in a decent weather. It would be rather nice for sort of April, March time to have a lovely little sojourn down to the bars, oh, yes. to the bars city, yeah. from, uh, uh, down by the river, punt have, on the have river. Have a punt on the river, yeah. Exactly. But a Tuesday in mid-November is not a, mind you, it's still a lovely little town. It is, it is. I mean, there are very much some places now in division it's worth lingering longer. Yeah. And Stratford is very much one of those places where you want to linger. Yeah. So my suggestion, if you can, take yeah. the afternoon off and go over to Shakey's home for some, inverted commas, shopping. Yes, there Christmas is a very shopping. good Lakeland store. Exactly. There is a, no, exceptionally good. Lakeland, the mail order, whatever, the, you know, the Lakeland catalogues, or kitchen gadgetry and that sort of thing. Yes. It's a huge store they've got in Stratford. Then, is it? Oh, yes. There you go. You've got, you got to go just for that it's reason. It's probably got to be the best part of their head office. Of the, it's enormous. And the other stuff, there's some really nice arty, crafty books in Stratford. And some really nice places to eat. Exactly. So if you can get the day off yeah. and go there, you know, sort of for lunch, exactly. and then potter about, and then and wander I mean, over only, to the yeah. ground. The ground is only just on the other side of the river, yeah, if I remember. 54 miles. It's yeah. easy peasy. Yeah, it, yeah. You know. Now, I'm not, I wasn't talking about the Y. I was actually talking about the Avon when I was on the <laughs> other side of the river. No, right. from the town, you just walk over the bridge to the bottom of the town and it's outside of the park on your right, by the, right by the cricket ground, as I remember. Oh, I don't remember a cricket ground, man. All right, but, uh, never mind. It was uh, probably dark or you were drunk, one of the two. Yeah, it was definitely anyway, when it went there, okay. Chicky, what's it? But, yeah. okay. Right. Now, Stratford are one of a group of clubs for for whom staying in step three is basically the challenge. But it's easy this year. You know, we've got sports stuck on one point. The job's pretty much done now, isn't well, it? Well, you say that. Yes, I think... Uh, uh, I think Gosport are probably... I mean, they only got relegated, didn't they, this year? But, I mean, they've really... They really are struggling very yeah, badly. financially, desperately. Yeah. You know, I mean, we thought Gosport were in a... We thought that uh, Dunstable in were in way. a bad way, yeah. but yeah. they're almost safe <laughs> with six points, aren't they? <laughs> That's right. It's weird league, isn't it? Well, absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, Stratford now, they, they've got time to experiment and grow some of their own talent, you know. Now, sadly, the manager is a former Blue Nose, and there's lots of ex-Blue Noses in the squad, so you probably understand why they struggle. That's what Blue Noses do, isn't it? But, yeah. uh, now, the ground... The ground's quite new opened in 2008 with a, a grant from the football foundation and a loan from the council which they are still repaying right now it's got a lovely name it's called the mood chimp stadium and in case you're wondering what that is frank it's a social intercourse app right if I, uh, yeah encourages people to keep Encourages people to talk. That's more. gonna Keith are gonna cut that reference out, certainly. He kind of he's, not in, he's not in the social intercourse, uh, no, that's right. Well it's understandable. Well it is really, yeah. Uh, you're yeah. not gonna be allowed to forget the name of the stadium because well, it's no. all over plastered all over the place. All so over all the place. Could you just imagine that watching something like Chelsea or Arsenal when they've got those moving boards around the side of the ground advertising if it had mood chimp, mood chimp all the way around the ground. 
And you will yeah. feel a bit like that. But These are static are advertising boards. They are, they are. So we can probably cope them. with that. And it's dark. Yeah. Okay, now, they're based in a millionaire's row suburb of Liddington, which is on the edge of yeah. Stratford. It's about one and a half miles right. from the town centre. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I must admit then, it was probably about ten years ago when I visited it. It was probably their old ground or whatever. Yeah. There is a football ground just over the the river, but it may it probably no longer is there. No, no. But of course the um, the cricket ground in Stratford is a Birmingham League Premier Division. Yes. Which is only just a step below county championship. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, second team level. And in fact, a lot of players, I think they've got two or three Warwickshire players on their books who went to North Warwickshire. Oh, and I, but yeah, they played for Stratford. So, there you go. Yeah. Wow. Good cricket side. Fantastic. Anyway, Liddington. Liddington. <clears throat> yeah, Liddington. It yeah. really is on the edge of Stratford. It is. It's, yeah. it's not really not telling me on a walk it at night anyway. No. It's, it's quite just a try, quite, a, egg, quite a trek. Um, the ground looks impressive, or as impressive it can do, when it's dark. Yeah. But once inside, it's startling just how few seats there are in the main building. The main building looks big and modern. There's probably only 100 seats in it, which is right. kind of weird. So they've had to add some more on the opposite touchline, which is sort of really cheap and cheerful job. Yeah. And then stuck a flat cover at one end to meet the covered terrace requirement. I think you'd probably say bus shelter. I was just yeah. going to say, yeah. is it yeah. the bus shelter? Yeah. yeah. And that's it, really. There's, there's other part from that. There's just a concrete path going around all four sides. With mood chimp advertising hoardings. Inevitably, yep. yeah. And their ground record's just over a 1,000 for a playoff game that a couple of years ago. Right. And, well, they said they had a 1,000, but my word, if that, that was the 1,000, I went to that game, and they really did struggle. His key was around the block. And which, who was that against? I think we mentioned this one before. We did, yes. Um, Joe Tomalty's team. Oh, goodness. Lark Hall. Uh, yes, that's Lark Hall. Lark Hall, yes. Lark Hall. yes. Because right. Lark Hall fought back at one stage and looked as yes. if they might have, but then a late goal from Stratford. Well, yeah, Stratford with three, uh, Paul, uh, and Lark Hall got two So back. they were yeah. south and west, weren't they? They were, uh, yeah. But they've struggled ever since going up. Yeah, really. Yeah. really. Yep. Um, I mean, it's a small club with a small ground and small support. Yeah. Second lowest in the league. They average 220. Biggest gate they've had this season, 312. Um, expect to pay £10, £6 concessions. Kids, £2 or free, depending on their age. So, uh, this balls we be fine. Blue badge holders get a space in a car park on request. The concourse around the stand is all flat. Okay, but the, you would have to contact the club, Stratford, yep. in order to book a space yeah, for would. Yeah. A, a blue badge. Yep. If you want to get into the seats in the main stand, you will have to clamber up a few stairs as best you can. All right. The car park, it's, it's a very modern landscape car park, not that big, holds about 100 vehicles, not going to be able to cope with, with our numbers, I don't think. Now, in the past, they've used the National Farming Union Social Club Car Park, which is just further up Knights Lane, so just 100 yards away. From so, that. so they with the NFU, they've got a mutual arrangement. Oh. Have they? I thought I'd put that one in. Oh, <laughs> well, how did I miss that one? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Very simple. You're not a farmer's son like I am. No, sure. Right, okay. okay. Um, the main road outside the ground is too narrow for safe parking, <laughs> and I'm sure they'll be putting cones up anyway just to reinforce that. Great. Ice cream in November. <laughs> Excellent job. Love it, don't you? I am, yeah. Clubhouse is called the Baxi Bar, probably not surprising. Baxi. Yeah. B A X I. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, built into the back of the stand. Choice of alcohol is limited. I'm afraid it's the usual sort of suspects thing. Oh dear. And make yeah. sure to go somewhere else. But they do have a proper coffee machine. Right? Proper they, coffee. Yeah, Lava, they coffee. got a Lavazzo machine oh, two months ago. I got very yep. excited about that. Yeah. Um, it's alright to put some rum in it then. Oh, that would yeah. line it up, wouldn't it? it? Would, yeah. Not many places you can really go in this, uh, this ground out of town. I'm going to suggest the Crown Inn at Tiddington, about 10 minutes walk away. It's on the high street. <laughs> well, there's going to be a reference coming up, folks. You'll know it's one of Simon's yes, favourites. Yes. They yeah. serve Duba. Yeah, they do have a proper beer as well, though. <laughs> and, and a couple of guests. <laughs> yeah. And likely to be you and me, though. No. <laughs> no. And they, they do have a large car park, so and if you've been asked nice, you'll probably be allowed to leave your vehicle there, yeah? Yeah. Otherwise, if you have time, as I said earlier, visit the town centre. Vast choice of pubs, vast choice of restaurants. 
Um, the obvious pub really to go to is the Stratford Ale House in Green Hill Street. Yeah, no, it, 400 metres from the train station. Yep. Rotating beers and ciders, including Dorothy Goodbodies and Hogan Ciders. Which, uh, from the Morven. It's from the Morven, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now, people who uh, love a sticky bun and a cappuccino, Hobson's Patisserie in the Minor is that is absolutely gorgeous. They are sticky, sticky buns with, and that's to open, die for. That's open until half past five, yeah. so you can have a nice time in there. You really and can. What, yeah, and you really, really can. The cream, the cream is six inches thick on some of their stuff. It's, right. it's, you probably will die after a few of them, but yeah. there you go. Right, getting there. Yeah, it's an easy You've one. Mentioned it already. It's Fifty-four miles. Well, that's uh, who? How many? Are, how many of our opposition are closer than that? Only a couple. Two. Two. All right. Two. Uh, Ready yeah. to Right. It's like a home game for us, right? Yes. Really, a fifty odd miles. Um, by train, by day, it'd have been brilliant because you can go right there. But yeah. night time, hopeless. Right. Now the London Bulls, they've got a chance. They can get a direct train to Marrodybone, but providing they pre-book a taxi and they're willing to miss the end of the game. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. So maybe not. <laughs> still not good, is it? No, still not good. But anyway, that's a. Yeah. What about Reg? Reg. Reg. Well, I'm sure Reg has already put up his arrangements for yeah. Stratford. Um, I haven't had a chance to have a look. Yeah. I'm not going to get my phone out and have a look at it now. It'll take up too much time and I'd have yeah. to edit this file if I did exactly. so. But my guess would be it's going to be a 15 pounder. I would have thought it might even be less. Might you never be know. Less, you'd hope but so, Reg will look after your every need if you visit yeah. the Hereford Away Days a Facebook page and uh, you'll find up there where you can leave your name, your link uh, to book your seat for that. I'm sure that is already up. It ought to be, because it's the only away game on the yeah. horizon at the moment. Uh, the last thing I've seen on Reg is the coach cancelled cup tie. Coach cancelled cup tie. All the away games that we were getting have had to be replaced by home cup ties. So he'll be bankrupt soon. Oh dear. In fact, this time last year he went on holiday, didn't he? Do you remember? To Marley or someone like that. He was basking on the Reg. It's probably time for you to go again. You're, you're not needed, mate, till December. <laughs> have some time off. Right, as, as we stuff. will now. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, that's our Here drive. That's our drive to Stratford, yeah. and uh, we have uh, we have no plans to do any more away, guys, at the moment. Should we have a replay? against yeah. either Telf against Telford uh, we will not be able to get a guide out we won't have time and the same will probably apply to Potter's Bar but we will try and get information out to you through the normal channels uh, but uh, let's hope neither of those will be needed although it will be nice to have the occasional away game uh, we don't particularly want a round trip to Potter's Bar on a Tuesday night no and we would rather be to Telford first time round although there is a school thought but actually, we may stand a, stand a better chance of winning that game were it to be away. Some people have said to me, you know, mm -hmm. if it was away at Telford, I'd feel quite confident of us uh, going there and doing the job. At home, we have to play in a different sort of way, uh, which doesn't all work, which sometimes suits the opposition. Mm -hmm. But we will see. That's another day. That's another day. Bring on our, all our fixtures. Thanks very much for listening to this podcast. Hi, y'all. And we'll catch up with you again. Not very soon. <laughs> This is Radio Hereford FC, the home of the Bulls. Match Day Live.